We are at the track once again, ready to do a tough workout today. VO2 max intervals. It is hot as a up in here and uh, it's gonna be uh, pretty tough. Uh, let's do it. Today's workout is six times 800 meters at VO2 max pace, which is probably around three minutes and 45 seconds, three minutes and 50 seconds per kilometer for me at this point. So that's, that's essentially 800 meters, two laps in three minutes. That's it. Uh, I'll do it six times and in between I'm going to do uh, like two minutes of just walking and jogging to recover. Uh, no one at the track at the moment, which I prefer because then I can really focus. Maybe there will be some more people later, who knows. I'm going to start with a warm up though. Three kilometers of just easy running. Well, we'll start right now. There we go. Three kilometers of easy running around the track. Feeling pretty good. Didn't have a good night's sleep, but still feeling okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do the warm up and I'm gonna check back with you after that. All right, first part of the warm up is done. Just uh, 2.6 kilometers of just easy running, 16 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some strides, just some easy strides. Uh, so I'm just gonna accelerate a little bit here on the 100 meter stretch. Uh, just a little bit and then take it easy. I'll do it four times just to go through the full range of motion with the legs and Get everything ready for the workout. So here we go So I'm done with the strides, I'm done with the warm-up, 20 minutes total, now we're going to get to the workout. So the purpose of the workout is to train my oxygen capacity, my aerobic capacity, my VO2 max and I don't actually know my actual max heart rate, so I don't know exactly what heart rate to target, you should usually go up to about Oh, maybe 95, 96, 97, even 98 percent of max heart rate on these intervals. I'm doing 800s, three minutes. So I'm thinking I want to get my heart rate up to about 195 minimum, 204 maximum. My max is probably around 208, maybe. So just around 200 BPM. That's what I want to target in today's workout so it's gonna be tough and it's really warm so all right I'm gonna put you guys up in a nice spot so you can watch me and then I'm gonna focus on my workout and then we'll talk we'll talk after the workout all right the shirt is off it's go time rep a bit too fast but it still felt easier than my last workout a week ago so fitness gains <laughs> Hard. Note to self. Take it easy on the first trip. 
filled my legs with sand. Last rep. I'm gonna give it all I've got. That was insane. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do a cool down. Basically just uh, one, two kilometers of easy running. And then we'll talk about the workout. All right, so I'm done. Um, great workout, really tough though. I. I really suffered today. This was this was a high level of suffering. Uh, I think mostly because of the heat. It was very warm. It's probably 29 degrees Celsius right now. I don't know, but it's in the direct sun, and it's just it's really really hot. So uh, that made the wor workout a little bit harder. But uh, I finished. I did the workout. Um, as you saw, I, I did that first rep a bit too fast. I got cocky, and I was like, "Wow, my fitness." Oh, fitness games, yeah. Uh, <laughs> whereas in reality, uh, I was just fresh and it was just that first rep, right? So um, I don't want to do that again because I paid for that in the, in the subsequent reps, uh, slowing down progressively. Uh, I also felt like my legs were getting heavier throughout the workout, uh, possibly for, because of an accumulation of lactate and uh, hydrogen ions, you know, inhibiting proper metabolism in the muscle. Um, I don't know if that was it, uh, but it did feel like that. Um, even though I've never had really that issue on lactate threshold training sessions, I really had it today. And I must say I'm, I'm a little bit confused because, okay, here's my conundrum. Here's what I'm um, thinking about a lot these days. My max heart rate is, you know, the highest heart rate I've ever seen here at this track is like 204 BPM. So I'm thinking my max heart rate is probably like 205, 207, 208. Could it be 210? That's what I've been working with so far in my, with my Garmin, 210. It's probably a little bit lower, 208, whatever. Uh, definitely it's 205 though, or higher. So that means a VO2 max session should really be touching at, you know, about 95% of max. And a 95% of max, uh, if I have a heart rate of 208 uh, well 96% of that is like 200 BPM so I'm thinking I should probably hit about 200 uh, beats per minute um, at least in the second uh, uh, lap of each 800 meter rep but I'm not able to do that I'm suffering a lot at like 194 195 196 and then I, I just seem I can't seem to push past that because it's already so painful and so hard I can't imagine running even harder um, so I don't know it doesn't really look like I'm working at a high enough percentage of my vo2 max uh, or of my, of my max heart rate rather uh, yet my pace is faster than what the Jack Daniels tables indicate, for example, that I should be running my VO2 max intervals at. But still, I'm running so fast and feel so painful. Is there a large anaerobic component to this? You know, am I actually running too fast? But then again, if I did, wouldn't my heart rate go up higher though? You know, I, I don't know. I, 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 so I don't know if I'm gonna, if I should run these uh, interval sessions by heart rate or by pace. I'm uh, leaning towards heart rate though, thinking that I think the effort that I'm putting in is sufficient. I'm certainly working at at least 94, 
94% of my max. Um, but I'm, it feels like I'm working harder than that though. It feels like I'm almost at my max. Um, because at the very end of my last rep, I, I sprint a little bit just to get my heart rate up. And I don't know how yet, I haven't checked how high it got, but I think it got up to 200, 202 and something like that. So if that's where I end up when I'm sprinting at the end of such a workout, I can, in a sense, I could really consider that to be my max maybe. Who knows? Of course, the purpose of a VO2 max session is to improve your aerobic capacity, your, your capacity for metabolizing fuels aerobically using oxygen. Uh, so it's about your stroke volume, it's about that heart beating more blood which eat with each beat. Uh, it's about peripheral adaptions in the muscles uh, where the muscles, you know, enzyme contents within the mitochondria, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, it's really about delivering oxygen and consuming it at the site of the muscle cells. Uh, and that's best done when working at that max capacity, right? You're always improving VO2 max regardless of what you're doing, slowly but surely. But if you really want to push the limits, you need to work at your max capacity. And that's what's, what the point is of these workouts. And of course, you cannot work at your max capacity, VO2 max, for more than like eight, nine minutes in a race. So certainly you can't do that in training. That would be too taxing. So you break it down into intervals, right? And that's why two to five minutes is a good amount of time to spend at your VO2 max per interval. So these 800 meter reps for me, that are like a, uh, like a three minute type effort. And then I rest for two minutes, maybe even three, uh, and then it's back at it. And over the course of the whole workout, I'll accumulate um, a fair amount of minutes at my VO2 max, and that's gonna provide a good stimulus for improvement and adaption. Anyway, it, it, was, it was an awesome workout. It, it's painful. <laughs> it is very painful though. I, I notice um, as soon as I start the workout, it's almost like a feeling of, I can't do this. I cannot do this. This is gonna be too painful. I, I can't stand it. And then as I progress through the workout, that feeling gets stronger and stronger until ultimately it feels like the last two reps are just insurmountable. Like I cannot imagine almost doing it, but I'm still pushing through and doing it anyway, uh, trying to maintain that pace. Um, from the looks of it today, my VO2 max pace is about three minutes, 50 seconds per kilometer probably. Um, I'm not thinking faster than that doesn't really make sense. But then again, the heat today was really strong and it is really strong. So perhaps uh, on a cooler day, perhaps I could perform better. I, I Well, for sure I would perform better on a cooler day. Um, anyway, I love the track. I, 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 I really feel like these high intensity sessions are benefiting me very much. I'm, I can notice my easy pace is on my easy runs and my long runs. It's coming down. It's going faster. It's it feels easier, um, so fitness gains are definitely taking place. Um, I'm still not sure what I can expect in terms of my half marathon time in about six weeks, uh, seven weeks or something like that. Um, but um, that remains to be seen as I progress through my build-up. Now I'm gonna go uh, eat lunch and my, my bananas. Then I'm gonna chill out at the library for a little while, and then I'm gonna go and do a strength a weightlifting session. Some squats, some deadlifts, that sort of thing, just to finish off a very hard training day. Tuesdays for me and Fridays are the hard days where I cram in as much hard work as possible. And then uh, the other days of the week, I'm doing fairly easy stuff. I appreciate having you with me watching these videos. Uh, if you haven't done so, you should subscribe. And if you already have subscribed, you can click the little bell button so you get notified when I upload a video. Let me know in the comments if you go to the track, what you do at the track, if you enjoy the track. Have you done any VO2 max sessions? Have you done any threshold sessions? What kind of sessions do you like to do at the track? Uh, tell me all about it in the comments. And check out this video here or there uh, where I uh, went to the track a few weeks ago and did a speed session. So you better check that out as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.